Minasan konnichiwa, this is David. I am doing my second of a quick series of unboxing videos tonight. Um, this is the 1144 Lightning Gundam from Build Fighters Try. It was just released today. Woohoo, indeed. Um, this is Yuma Kuska's uh, mobile suit. And here is our box art. Very simple stuff. One thing I will note is that um, unlike a lot of the Build Fighters kits, which basically come with their backpack pieces, even though you can buy them separately, um, this one actually requires the um, lightning back weapon system. It does not come with it. Um, so you'll actually need to get that if you want it to be in its transforming form. <clears throat> so to open. First bag here. We have a whole bunch of stickers, mostly, okay, so we've got some green stickers. Those are gonna be for like lenses and that sort of thing. Um, we also have some yellow stickers and some gray stickers. Those are going to be um, places where Bandai didn't bother to give us two separate parts for a piece. Um, I really dislike those kinds of stickers, but that's basically what we got there. Um, standard beam sabers. Um, these are standard for the Build Fighters line. Um, very narrow type style beam, beam sabers. Uh, this runner is full of weapons. He is a sniper type um, Gundam, so he's got a very, very large gun going on. <clears throat> and then here we have this sort of grayish navy colored. Um, this is, this is going to be a lot of the primary um, plates for him and his legs. Next up, this tiny bag here. It is going to have some poly caps, just standard issue poly caps, nothing to write home about. And then we've got our yellow pieces. Um, yellow pieces in this case are going to be some thruster vents, um, back vents, and the V fin. Um, both parts of the V fin are yellow in this case. Uh, one thing I will note that the V fin is. Um, blunted just like all HG V fins, but not quite as much. Um, that's kind of nice, although I do end up trimming most of those anyway. <clears throat> Next, we have a runner with a single piece on it. This is the red piece that goes on his chest. Um, that's a weird little accent piece. I never noticed that, but the Lightning Gundam does have one single piece of red on him. Um, and not from fighting zombies. No, no, no. <clears throat> Here's our frame pieces. Um, there's actually quite a few of these, and this is a little flimsy. That's weird. Um, it feels almost like a poly cap. It's a real light plastic. Um, these are all standard pieces. In fact, um, this is very similar to its source, the, the Re-E's. Um, and then we... It's, it's not the Zeta. It's not the Zeta. Um, there was a joke about that in the most recent episode of Build Fighters, actually. Um, Ron Burrell, um schools someone about it. No. Oh, wait, no, it's not Ron Burrell. It's one of the, the enemy team. Yeah. You're totally right. Um, but here's our grayish pieces. They're, they're actually a sort of a bluish gray. Um, it's kind of a neat color. Um, Although this is a Build Fighters custom kit, I will note that um, Yuma's choice, you know, fictional Yuma, his choice to um, give it a very narrow Zeta-esque head um, is very thematic there. That's kind of cool. Um, also, I'll note that the leg pieces here, they are reminiscent to um, the Zaku Amazing, actually. That's kind of a weird one. Um, I don't know why that is, but they do kind of look like the Zaku Amazing pieces. Um, because he clearly studied the Meiji's work. Yes, yes. Um, you know, it's historical throwback. It's, it's a subtle thing, um, but the, that's one of the ways that the, the Zaku Amazing was different than the standard Zaku. It had those sort of squared, extra panel line pieces there. Um, also, I mean, it could also be a Zeta thing. They, they do look sort of Zeta-ish. Um... And then our book here, we have some classic sniper types. We have the GM sniper. 
um, that it drew some inspiration from, and the, I believe that's the Dynamez. Um, yeah, Dynamez. Um, according to the Katakana. And let's see. Huh. One thing, uh, unlike a lot of the Build Fighters kits, this one does not actually come with advice for things that you can do to it. A lot of times they'll show you like little panel lining tricks and stuff, which I think are cute. They're not exact, like they're, they're definitely 101 stuff. Um, that's definitely not my level of building, but I really like those. I think they're a great touch for the Build Fighters line, um, which is of course targeted at young children. Um, it's a simple kit. This is this is a Zeta style kit. This is nothing nothing really really complicated here. I mean, it's an HG to begin with, but it's um, it's a simple kit. I probably estimate about a forty five minute build. Uh, even his gun, which actually has quite a few parts, still not that complicated. It's mostly just stacking. Um, this is the um, the rushing stacking doll of guns. Um, put two together, put two together around it, put two together around it. I'm totally going to find you, though. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. <laughs> so, there we go. There's our Lightning Gundam. Um, I also just did a video on the Lightning Weapon Pack, um, the back weapon system for that. Um, I'm going to be putting those together, and then I'll do a review. I'll probably do the review together as a single video, um, because they do go together um, pretty simply. Um if you like our videos, please like our video, subscribe, drop us a comment, all of that. Um, also, we take requests. Um, we are going to be doing a couple things by viewer request in the near future. So if you've got an idea for something you would like to see us do, drop us a line. Thank you.